In this video, we will prepare our scene for the illumination setup. And as you can see, the starting point is exactly where we left off in chapter three. So the first step I would suggest is disabling the environment. So our viewport performance, as well as the image preview will be much uh, more efficient. And the second step is switching the rendering engine from EV to cycles, because right now, if we just go to the rendered view, um, this is more or less what you will get. So you can see it's quite far from the reference image we have set up as a background. So let's go to cycles. And I would suggest switching the device to GPU if you have a decent uh, graphics card. But if you're a Mac user, for example, then you would have to stay with the CPU rendering. So now I'm going to press Ctrl B and draw a border like this. So you can see we have this uh, red dotted line around our camera view. And what it makes, if we go, go to the render view right now, this will limit the cycles rendering just to the camera boundaries. So everything else that's outside our field of view, the rendering field of view is not rendering. As you can see, the out of the box result is really not that interesting as we would expect. And what you can also see here are those lights coming from the assets we've added in the previous chapter. So one of the first things I would suggest doing when setting up the global illumination for the scene, the general illumination will be disabling those lights. To do that, we have to edit materials of those objects. So let me very quickly change this pan, uh, this viewport here to the shader editor. And now I will select, let's say this model here, switch to the materials in here and using this navigation material list uh, available for every object, I will try to find the emission materials within these objects. So as you can see here, this orange ball in kind of indicates we have uh, an emission material included this material in particular generates this um, reddish color you would expect within a cooking panel like that. But at least for now, we will just disable it. So uh, simply in the node editor, switch to the, we simply need to disconnect this node from the material output, sorry, because uh, it changes a little bit in from every new Blender 2.80 to another. So I'm just simply clicking uh, around the end of this node link and dropping it. So it's disabled. You can also press Alt key and then left click and hold on this node. So this will disconnect automatically. So let's now repeat it to the remaining models. with the lamps we have here that it was only necessary to disable the material in one of the models and the shader also followed in the remaining ones and that's because the model here is instanced meaning uh, the the shader changes we do within one model are also applied to the other ones sharing the same materials there are still some small emissive materials left in the scene, like the dials here, for example, as well as on the main oven here, but we will just leave them for now. They do not influence the scene that much. And I would say that's basically it as for setting up the scene for the illumination setups. Um, what I would also suggest maybe is going to the sampling options here and increasing the viewport samples to let's say 100 
so the preview generated by Blender will be a little bit more detailed. But again, depending if you're using GPU or CPU, please adjust those settings uh, so your workflow is smooth and you don't have to wait too long for every single preview to be generated. You might have also noticed that I keep the Windows layer disabled and the reason for that is we would need to set up the glass shaders for the windows independently for the illumination. You might have noticed if I enable this layer, the scene got immediately darker, but we will cover that uh, in a section of this chapter where I'll, I'll be talking about the glass shader in detail. So thank you for watching and let's now jump into setting up the global scene lights. Thank you guys for watching. This video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which you can watch for free on YouTube. All the necessary details and link to the full playlist can be found in the video description. If you want to support what I do and access all of the 3D files used in this course, plus Blender ready interior setups and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofur store and learn more about our subscription plans. Again, thanks for watching and I see you soon.